What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel once again. I hope you're all doing great and welcome back to this new episode. In this video, I'm going to review, you can say the most hyped and most desired fragrance of the current times. And here I'm talking about Al Haramain's Detour Noir or Detour Noir. Uh, this perfume, damn, this is in very high demand nowadays and Al Haramain is selling this fragrance like hotcakes and you will not believe me guys that two weeks back this perfume was only available on a 60 days booking. I have checked their website and they have mentioned there that 60 days booking was required for this fragrance. Uh, today it's available, it's in stock on their website. Uh, but last week, two weeks back, it was on 60 days booking. And last week I have visited to their store and it was not available there. And the salesperson there, he told me uh, that they are selling every new batch in like maximum of two to three days. That's it. People are buying it like crazy. So we will talk about uh, Haramein Detour Noir today in this review. And then I'm going to review it with uh, Luxudor's Loyal Agar. I have already reviewed this fragrance uh, on my channel. You can uh, search it on my channel and you can have a look on the detailed review of this perfume. And uh, for the details if you're interested, but here today in this video I will talk about this fragrance and then I'm going to compare it with Loyal Agar and we will see which one is better So let's start our review and as always we will start with the presentation first So you will get this perfume in this very shiny silver kind of box You will get the name of perfume here Aramain Detour Noir Detour Noir and then here on the side you will find this very sporty type of design here the name of perfume once again uh, Detour and here Al Haramain, logo of Al Haramain, uh, some ingredient details in the bottom and the logo of Al Haramain on the top of this box. It's a nice box, nothing special but it looks good. And now let me show you the bottle and you will get this perfume in this pregnant bottle. It's a very weird shaped bottle and even the cap here is very tightly fitted and it gives you very cheap feel. Uh, cheap material, cheap feel, cheap design. Even uh, to put back this cap is uh, like uh, you're going on a war. It's not easy to put it back. Uh, so presentation is not good. The shape of bottle is very bad. The quality of cap, the quality of plastic is very bad. Uh, but that doesn't matter for us a lot. What matters for us is uh, the fragrance, the, the perfume uh, of this bottle. So this was presentation and now let's talk about the fragrance. So for the notes breakdown, you can visit Fragrantica and you can uh, search for the notes breakdown uh, of uh, PDM Parfum de Marley's uh, Layton because this is a clone or alternative or inspired uh, version of PDM's Layton. So you can have a notes breakdown of that perfume. Here we will talk about the scent only because the notes breakdown which they have uh, provided on their original website. It's in the top you'll get apple, lavender, violet, jasmine. In the middle there is vanilla, patchouli, mandarin, orange, bergamot. In the base cardamom, geranium, sandalwood, pepper, gaik wood. I think it's uh, very similar uh, to uh, the nose breakdown of Layton. Anyways, forget the nose breakdown. Let's talk about the scent itself. So uh, here uh, in the opening you will get definitely a note of green apple but here it's mixed with some citrusy kind of accords. Uh, you will get some more uh, prominent citruses here. And for me, it smells like a mix of bergamot with some uh, sweet lemon. And then this combination is blending with or mixing with lavender. Uh, you will get some spiciness here, some hints of spiciness here. And then a touch of vanilla. Vanilla is not very prominent here. Uh, it's more about uh, green apple, some citruses uh, with some lavender. So it's like more like an apple lavender kind of combo uh, with some pepperiness and some spiciness here. And then in next 20 to 30 minutes, uh, those citruses will fade away and this perfume becomes a combination of apple, lavender and vanilla. Vanilla becomes a little bit more prominent here in the second phase. This is how this perfume smells. Uh, it's a linear kind of scent. It's not going to change a lot. And in the final uh, dry down, it becomes a little bit uh, 
more woody you will start getting that note of sandalwood here but even the sandalwood here is not that that creamy traditional kind of sandalwood but it's a synthetic type of uh, uh, sandalwood accord but it smells good it becomes a little bit uh, more a woody fruity kind of scent in the dry down so this is about the fragrance it's good it's not bad the quality is very nice blending is good smooth it's rounded uh, no harsh edges and it smells very good so this was about Hermain Detour Noir and now let's see that what are the differences between uh, Loyal Agar and uh, Hermain Detour Noir uh, so first of all Loyal Agar this is also an alternative or you can say an inspired uh, version of uh, PDM's Layton uh, you will get vanilla, apple, lavender, a uh, touch of cardamom, some spices here, a peppery ness, and uh, that kind of concoction you will get in this perfume. Now, what are the differences? So, first of all, let's talk about loyal agar. Uh, loyal agar is more intense, it's more deep, it's more rich, it's more dense, it's more complex. So, uh, so far, fragrance-wise, I'm going to pick Loyal Agar. If, uh, if I have to choose uh, a better smelling fragrance between these two, then Loyal Agar wins for me. I'm going to pick uh, Loyal Agar over uh, Ticho Noir any day. It's so good, it's very intense, it's very deep, and it smells so, so, so good. Good. So, uh, fragrance-wise, Loyal Agar wins. And now, let's talk about that uh, which fragrance is more closer to the original Layton. So in that case, the Tornoa is going to win because the scent profile here is, is more closer uh, to the original one. It's around, you can say, almost 90% similar to the original one. On the other hand, here it's uh, not the exact same. Uh, the concept, the base of this fragrance is, of course, uh, same as PDM Layton. Once you will smell it from the first sniff, you will know that it's a PDM Layton's uh, alternative, but this is with a twist. The vanilla here is much, much more stronger as compared to this one, and it provides that beautiful sweetness to the whole concoction, and it, it provides that depth. It becomes more sweet, more dense, and more complex. Uh, and now, the price-wise. For the price-wise, uh, you will get this perfume, Loyal Agar, uh, in 30 ml quantity uh, with the same price of this bottle <laughs> where you will get 100 ml uh, quantity of this beautiful juice here. So this bottle is going to cost you around 80 UAE dirhams for 30 ml and here it's going to cost you 70 dirhams for 100 ml of this beautiful juice. So price wise this one wins. So two points and one point. Uh, but uh, I, I, I can't say that one is better than, than, than the other, both got pros and cons. Uh, Fragrance-wise, this wins. Price-wise and uh, similarity to the original perfume-wise, this wins. And now let's talk about the performance. So performance-wise, once again, Loyal Agar is going to win. This is more intense and it's going to uh, last a little bit uh, longer. It performs a little bit better as compared to Detour Noir. Here in this perfume, you are going to get a longevity of around like you can say eight to nine hours easily. It projects very well for first uh, one and a half to two hours or you can say one and a half hours. On the other hand, this one is going to uh, project for uh, you can say two to two and a half hours. So uh, performance wise, this is a little bit better, but still this is a good uh, perfume. It's going to give you a very good performance, especially considering uh, the price point here. Uh, for the gender, these are masculine scents. Women, they can try it, but for me, these perfumes are uh, going to work well with gents. For the age group, you must be like around 18 years old to rock this perfume. Even if you are young, you can still use them. Uh, I, I think even youngsters, they can use these perfumes. They smell very nice. Uh, they are not offensive. Uh, they are modern, fruity, sweet kind of perfume so i don't think age is an issue here and now uh, let's talk about uh, season or weather so yeah you must be wearing these perfumes in a little bit colder weather in extensive heat when the temperature is 30 35 plus degrees centigrade in case of ua it can reach up to 45 to 50 degrees is that kind of heat these are not going to work but luckily we are living 
uh, in controlled environment here air conditions are always on so we can still rock it in the summers but if you are going outdoors uh, use these perfumes in a little bit colder weather and for the occasion oh dates parties if you are going uh, to rock with your friends you are going outside in clubs in casinos birthdays parties uh, you can use these perfumes wherever you want uh, not a good idea to be used in gyms or in sports activities but other than that you can rock these perfumes uh, almost everywhere very versatile scents and now let's talk about the prices uh, for the prices we have already discussed so 30 ml for 80 dirhams 100 ml for 70 dirhams so this was my review and comparison of uh, Hermione Tornova and Loyal Egger from the House of Luxudor. I hope you liked it and until the next video put your scent on and stay fragrant. Take care. Bye.